Hi, I'm Casey Gocher. I'm a director in the product marketing group here at AMD. And what I'm here to do today is to show you our new Fusion Media Explorer. And really the purpose of the Fusion Media Explorer is to do three things. Uh, explore, experience, discover. Explore all your entertainment from all the locations that matter to you. Experience it in a new 3D, more immersive way. And discover new content that's related to the things that you're already looking at. So one of the nice things about this is it actually goes and finds all your media and catalogs it. And it's looking at multiple locations, your local hard drive, removable media, and online sources. And it presents it to you in a nice and easy way to find. So one of the things that I can do that's really nice is I can actually mouse over any one of the content types and get an instant preview. Same thing with photo, same thing with video. It plays instantly, so it's much quicker to get to your entertainment. The other thing that you'll notice is we've actually uh, shown you eight tiles in each one of these uh, boxes. And what that is, is it's, it's items that you've either currently clicked on or currently added in hopes that we'll be able to find what you're looking for right away. If you don't see what you're looking for, then you can always come down to the search box and type in a query down here, and it'll automatically filter based on the things that you're looking for. So in this case, I typed in U2, and it found me results based on U2. If that doesn't work, then we also have our, our 3D ribbon. And what that does is it's designed to really show you all kinds of, of entertainment. And again, from multiple locations, your local hard drive, removable media, and gives you a nice 3D immersive browser to kind of go through and, and enjoy your, your entertainment with. Um, one of the things that's nice is once you actually find something, you know, find a, a piece of media that you're looking for, you can actually click on it. And you can do a couple things. First, you can click on the F. Uh, to, to upload it to Facebook, you can click over here and upload it to Flickr. You can do slideshows, you can edit, you can find it in, in, in Windows Explorer. And the other thing that I want to point out is you can also get related media. So it sees that I'm looking at a picture of a green sea turtle and it goes out to Flickr and it finds other green sea turtles and other photos that are related to what I'm looking at to, to give me some, some additional context. So that's one of the nice things about this browser. The other thing too that you'll notice is um, when I sort, I can sort by all content or I can sort by individual locations. So one of the I items that I like to do is um, we have this connected to, uh, to Facebook, as I mentioned earlier. And one of the nice things about that is I can actually come down here and sort by Facebook, and this entire ribbon becomes my friend's Facebook photos. So if I want to specifically see photos from my friend Matt, I type in the, the words Matt Davis, it automatically filters it down to just Matt's photos. If I know that he happened to have gone to, to Vegas recently, I can type in Vegas and it automatically shows me his Vegas photos. So the next thing I want to show you is the music application. And so for doing that, if I want to listen to some music, I just click on the music uh, tab down here and it'll actually bring up a, a similar ribbon to what we were looking for that has a bunch of music in it. Uh, from uh, Again, from my local hard drive, remote locations, things of that nature. So uh, once I decide on what I want to listen to, I click on it, and it actually brings up a nice little 3D CD case, and it'll start playing. Now, a couple things to point out is you'll notice in our related media section, it actually went out to YouTube and found music videos that are related to what I'm listening to. In this case, I'm listening to YouTube, so it found YouTube music videos, and uh, I think it also actually found a, a segment the other day from David Letterman. So one thing I can do is I can either click on any one of these on the play button and play it right here in the main browser, or I can actually click on this little favorite button and save it for later. And when I, when I want to come back and watch those later, I click on here up on the favorites and it remembers all the ones I've clicked on so I can get back to them anytime I want to. One of the nice things about this is all you have to do is click on one song and if you've got our auto DJ enabled, it'll automatically continue to play music for you for the rest of the evening until you're ready to stop. And what it does is it actually looks at what you're listening to. It looks at the artist, looks at genre, and automatically starts predicting additional music for you that's, that's relevant to what you're currently listening to. So again, for me, I click on one song at the end of the night, and I'm good for the rest of the evening. As you see, when it gets to the end of the list, it just keeps pre-populating new, new additional items. So the next thing I want to show you is the video application. And for doing that, I click down on the video tab, and it'll launch a nice little ribbon. And so just kind of like the uh, ribbons that we saw with the music and the photo applications, I can go through and let it run and just uh, take a look and see what all content I have. Sometimes things aren't labeled well enough to where you know what it is you're looking for or if it's something that you've already seen. So you can let it run for a few seconds and actually uh, get a feel for what you're looking at and it'll help you uh, pick what you're looking for. If you don't see what you're looking for just based on kind of watching some things run, um, then you can, uh, you can use the search engine and I can uh, type in uh, some search categories and get me to another portion of the ribbon where it's filtered it to what I'm searching for. So in this case, I typed in HDNet, looking for some segments that I had recorded on HDNet, 
and obviously it's going to pull those up for me. So once I've had a chance to take a look and see uh, see what's out there and see what it is that I might be looking for, I go ahead and click on it, and it'll pull it up in the in the main window. With that video ribbon, depending on how much performance you have, you know we we've seen on Dragon systems sometimes as many as you know, 12, 15, even 20 videos running simultaneously, and that's very dependent on how much horsepower you have. So a as you can see, I'm now running a video on the main screen, and just like as in what you saw with the music application, the photo application, I've now got related media results over here on the right-hand side. So we're actually watching a, a, an episode of Get Out from HDNet, and it's gone out and found other episodes of, of Get Out or other clips related to that show for me. Last but not least, one of the things that, that really kind of is a useful portion of the application to me is being able to multitask. So I just clicked on the web browser. We have an integrated version of Internet Explorer. And so what this allows me to do is I can actually surf the web and watch TV because as you'll see, typically a web page is, you know, there's quite a bit of dead space on the screen. So what this gives me the opportunity to do is really take advantage of that dead space and, and put something in there that would be entertaining or something that I could watch kind of as I'm, as I'm uh, surfing the web. And so with that, you've now seen all the different facets of the application. We have, you know, the music video and photo applications, the ability to upload to YouTube and Flickr, uh, the ability to filter the photos by my Facebook friends' photos and quickly get to the ones I'm looking for, and obviously the, the interesting capabilities that we've done with video and the video ribbon and then being able to multitask where you can surf the web and, and watch some TV at the same time. Uh, so hopefully you, in, you take the time to download and install the Fusion Media Explorer and experience it for yourself. Thank you.